What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and welcome to part one of our new Let's Play. And it is going to be Tales of Berseria. So if you guys have never heard of a Tales game before, you're certainly missing out. When I think of JRPGs, there's two names that come to mind. The Final Fantasy franchise and the Tales franchise. And you guys are going to find out why as we get into this game. But first, let's see the opening cinematic. So it's been a while since I've played a Tales game through to completion. Um, Tales of Symphonia, way back in the day, amazing game. Tales of Asperia, back on Xbox 360, was what really hooked me in on the Tales games. Um, and then some of you may remember, we tried playing, I think it was uh, Vestria, and we just we couldn't get into it. It just wasn't there. Uh, and from what I've heard from folks, Berseria is going much closer to kind of how Tales of Asperia was. So. I expect I will really enjoy this. Offering commands, yeah, short subtitles, items, arts, equipment, fashion. Fashion? There's a fashion shortcut? Lord, you know I'm gonna love this game. Let's do it. When I've heard the English voices of the, the game I'm are actually pretty good, Seneca. so... I'm so scared. Arthur, please! <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Selica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Selica is safe. <laughs> it's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. <laughs> uh. 
Somebody had a pretty fucked up childhood. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Everyone loves a revenge story. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Okay, move, rotate, menu, shortcuts, area map cancel, confirm, start, skip. Surroundings, upper left, check location, shop some more, X display area, map, time and region, event list, RB to display the current main story objective in the upper right. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up.
These are side missions, maybe? <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they... <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's... Come to think of it, Celica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Douchebag. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafisset feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. But still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Lafie all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I'm guessing Celica is the girl we saw being on that, that crucifix the light back at the start. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says... Come to me, where to go. Um... Buy some of that, and that's all he has. Some apple gel. Blood blade. Power for surprise attacks. The demon blight is a punishment. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Alright then. Oh! It's you! Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility. I know. Of course. I'm, I'm 16. Can we, can we not talk to this old lady anymore? <laughs> Alright, uh, Tranquil Woods. So they're either this way or... Well, this looks like it's gonna be a dead end. Maybe. I don't know. Might be able to proceed through these. Oh, there's the Tranquil Woods. I wonder what's the other way then. This area looks promising. There! Prickle Boar! character possesses any combination of B, Y, or A and X to perform a three-hit combo. Stunning, defeating, or inflicting status ailments, you can gain souls line for more combos. Not 
Yeah, that's how it's done. I mean, if this is anything like Vesperia, later on in the game you start getting uh, enhanced combo chains and enhanced abilities and things like that. greatly decreases damage, but also greatly depletes SG. Also resets the position when it's up against the wall. Right, here goes! The Arthur's second maxim. Know your foes, and strike where they're weak. should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. She's all young and full of life and chipper. You know that shit shit's gonna change. Like, as soon as we're out of the prologue, you know, something's gonna go down. Something bad. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. So we going in, right? That's what you're saying? We're gonna go in and that's where we get our, our super demon hand powers from? I want cool demon hand powers. There's usually a... Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on. That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Celica taught me. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Tell the best way for Stronger. So, episode time length. Um, probably gonna keep these around 30 minutes or so. Um, yeah, obviously, it depends on, on the content if I'm like a dungeon or whatnot. Like right now, we're going through. A, uh, this is basically the prologue, so I'm gonna try and get through most of this within 30 minutes. I have a feeling that might come. As soon as I'm done with all the Is that all? Stuff. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there?
Maxim 3, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Damage and attack range, but use more of your SG to march on the searing edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting them against weak spots. Select arts from the battle menu and searing edge to A that press A to use it. See, it's like a build your own combo system. Burn through that shit. An exorcist art! Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think... I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. my question, not going that way. There's supposed to be like a sprint feature. I might just not have it yet. A ball. Village of cranky old ladies. Here for groceries? 
Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. But what's up this way? I didn't get to go this way. I already talked to this lady. What else could she Selica have to say? Selica taught you how to make your spe- Yeah, but mine are- Don't be modest! That's because there's a secret of you. We uh, could make- I don't make care about the quiche. Then it might do one- Oh, think th No thanks. You're in- Then again. So talk to the dog now? Orthy and- I know! They've been- Well, they've- The other day, that kitty Rolo- They're Orthy. <laughs> They're comp- Maybe. I think I'm just gonna have to avoid people with dialogue. It is cool that, like, there's so much voice acting done in this, though. It's usually something you don't see a lot in RPGs these days. Alright, let's head back. I'm guessing a demon attack's about to happen. Shit's gonna go down. That seems, uh, pretty standard. Selica, I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. 
Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Where are the stairs? There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet. You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Just cough and chill out. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you, too. 
I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Luffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Oh, you know this happy little playing family bullshit is not going to last. Like, T-minus two minutes till demon attack and everything goes to shit. Boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone! Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down! Well, considering we're just about at 40 minutes, uh, we're gonna wrap this one up. Looks like we got a little bit more of the prologue. But either way, I will, I will say this. In the, the Tales games I've played, this is definitely one of the slower starts of the prologue, but this game does not stay as happy family bullshit very long so <laughs> make sure to stay tuned we'll catch you guys with part two hopefully things will get going a little bit faster so we'll see you guys then